Throughout the stories in the Predator universe, we have seen them fight various life forms on different worlds. I've covered this franchise a lot when it comes to the many stories about different characters, most of them focusing on a single warrior, but a few of them do involve a small hunting tribe or clan. Despite being a physically strong and technologically advanced species, they do have a code of honor when they hunt for prey. But there are stories of some hunters turning against this code of honor, hunting by their own methods and rules. The bad bloods, as we call them, are more savage and ruthless. They are also known as super predators. But they have similar and slightly modified technology. The Yauchua species are known to hunt anything that deems worthy to them. While there have been many crossovers in the comic books, I've always wanted to pit them against another one of my favorite franchises. What if a predator fought against the Giver? Who would win and why? If we look at the predators, they are physically stronger than humans. They can compete with some large earth animals like bears or lions. They can climb walls and other structures, jump large distances, and have increased endurance. Overall, they are physically superior to humans. Their weaponry ranges from high-tech plasma projectiles, savage melee weapons, painful traps that lead to death, a medical kit for sealing up any wounds during combat, and their biomask comes with an assortment of features, having multiple vision modes like thermal, cold, electrical, sound wave analyzers, movement-based tracking, scanning of weapons, and the mental state of a target, along with many more ways to hunt. With their camouflage technology, they can bend into almost any environment. Their skin is thick enough to withstand multiple wounds during combat and still survive, but they are still mortal beings. Even though they are seen as warriors seeking the ultimate prey, they would risk their lives just to seek glory. By collecting the skull of its enemy, it reminds them of a battle with a worthy enemy, but in the event of them losing, most predators are known to not accept defeat. They would keep their honor and use a self-destruct bomb to end their existence and destroy all of its technology. Now, let's have a look at the Giver. Its origins stem back to a group of aliens that created life on many worlds, including Earth. They were known by a few names like the Creators, Advents, or Uranus. The suits they wore was the Giver armor, meant to be their standard outfit. The armor amplifies the host's abilities according to the nature of the body. Since the Creators were not a violent race, the armor barely amplified their abilities for combat. Their main form of power over their creations was mind control, but one day they equipped a human with the armor. Since humans were created for war, it amplified their abilities beyond expectations. It made them more powerful than a zoonoid. By losing control of the human, the first Giver went on a rampage. It could not be controlled by the creators, it was then called Giver, which in their language means out of control. The weapons and abilities of the Giver are very unique and highly advanced. It has high frequency vibrational swords that can cut through almost any material. They are also called sonic blades. The mouthpiece can emit sound waves that can disintegrate armor, bone, and flesh. An infrared laser beam from the helmet that locks on via body heat the ability of flight by controlling the gravity around him. By concentrating gravity into its hands, it forms a pressure cannon projectile that can bust through most armor. It also has enhanced scanning through electromagnetic fields, which are outside of view from their physical line of sight. These two orbs can pick up sound waves and vibrations to sense incoming attacks. But its greatest weapon is the Mega Smasher from the chest plate, an energy beam that has to be charged before it fires, but its power is devastating. Only hyperzoonoids and zoolords have been known to survive this attack. 
Despite the Giver armor being heavily plated, it can still be cut and damaged. It is weak against corrosive acid liquids, and attacking the control medallion on the forehead would stun the Giver. In the event of the host losing control of the Giver, it will shift into self-defense mode, where it sees everything as an enemy, and it merely is trying to survive. This mode gives the Giver unrestrained actions. It fights without mercy or remorse. The power of a true Giver. The control medal is built into the suit, so the host has some form of control over the Giver. If the medallion is removed from the Giver or destroyed, the armor would eat at the host. But not all is lost if this happens. If the medallion is preserved and undamaged, it rebuilds the body of the host over time. When it was activated, it retained the genetic code of the host, which was meant for this purpose. So, if these two sci-fi characters fought against each other, who do I think would win? Well, they are both enhanced physically, armed with deadly weapons and tracking devices. So let's say they can both damage each other equally. Who would survive their wounds? The Giver's armor can rebuild itself. Its wounds will heal faster. The host body can regenerate over time. But if they were both severely injured, the Giver still has its self-defense mode, which is unrestrained power from the Giver. It would most likely overpower an injured predator. The bio booster armor of the Giver just seems more beneficial for combat. So my decision for the Giver winning this battle is mainly down to its faster speed and healing abilities. But I would like to know from you: Do you think the predator would win at all? What features, abilities, or weapons of the predator do you think would overpower the Giver? Put your ideas in the comment section down below. While the base form of the Giver is very powerful. It does have two more transformations: the larger Giver Gigantic version and the Gigantic Exceed, both of which were on similar power levels to Zoa Lords. So those forms would obviously beat a Predator. And as for a Zoa Lord versus a Predator, I think it's safe to say any of the thirteen Zoa Lords would destroy a Predator, considering that they are more powerful than a standard Giver. If you want to see more lore videos around the Giver universe, I have covered a few topics in the past. Things like the origins of the Giver, the alien relic ships, the first Giver ever created, the history of Giver Gigantic, the first Giver Zoonoid from the second live-action movie, and the full story of Arkenfell, the supreme Zoa Lord. I'm going to leave links to those videos so it's easier to find. If you enjoyed this versus video between two sci-fi characters, leave a like on the video. And to see more lore videos, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I do cover a lot of franchises, and I always find something interesting to talk about. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Carlos or Acid Glow, and I'll see you next time.